Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. Tesla's factories are something that you have to see to believe. They are massive, never done, always moving, and no one else has anything like them. Tesla's factories are the most advanced and impressive machines in the world. In this video, I'm going to show you why they are so important and how they're changing the way we make things. I'm a fan of Tesla's cars. Not only are the cars looking amazing, futuristic, are some of the fastest cars out there and packed with software and technology, but their factories are even more impressive. In this video, I'm going to show you what set Tesla's factories apart from all others and why they are so important for our future. You're going to be blown away by the scale and innovation of these factories, just as Sandy Monroe was blown away when he went and saw the factories with his own eyes. I mean, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> They are the next step in the evolution of manufacturing. So let's check them out and let's dive right in. The car manufacturing process is a complex one that requires careful planning, meticulous attention to detail that involve many different factories and manufacturers. Ford was the first company to invent the modern production line which revolutionized the way cars were made. Another company that was a pioneer in the car manufacturing was Toyota which perfected the production line and made the Agile assembly line a key part of its success. Today, most car companies use some form of Toyota's Agile assembly line production in their factories. But now, Tesla has revolutionized the way cars are made once again, with its innovative approach to factory constructions, casting methods, a new approach to assembly line, and taking everything in-house, where every other car manufacturer over the years has taken everything to third party and has pretty much been reduced to a company that assembly products made by others to make a car. Tesla has also developed unique ways to automate the car manufacturing process, which has further increased efficiency and output. And Tesla also automates the testing of the cars, so every car Tesla makes goes through every non-destructive test of a car. But that is something the car and the factory together does all on their own, without any human supervision. This innovative approach to car manufacturing has made Tesla one of the most successful and forward-thinking companies in the automotive industry, and is today earning more money per car they sell than any other car manufacturer on the planet, only beaten by Mercedes. And in Q1 2022, Tesla earned more money in net income than both Ford and GM which sell three to four times more cars, Tesla is a much more successful car company than many people realize. All due to their efficient factories, and Tesla's giga casting methods are changing the way cars are made and setting a new standard for quality and efficiency in the automotive world that others now want to copy. Like we see, Volvo has already done so. Some of the Chinese are also trying to copy Tesla's method, and Volkswagen wants to do it in their new factory they are building near the Wolfsburg headquarters because it saved Tesla 171 pieces, 600 robots that have to weld them together with over 1600 welds. Now the whole bottom of Tesla's Model Y only consists of three pieces. Talk about efficiency. But that is just one thing Tesla has innovated on when it comes to manufacturing. Tesla has changed everything. 
and taken the agile approach of production to whole new levels. And today, making hardware like software companies are making software. They can make changes on a daily basis to the car or even to the production line itself, something that used to take legacy automakers years to do and still do today. And Tesla is the only car company that is making their batteries in the same factory as the cars are being made. Even BYD in China that is also making their own batteries does not have the production of those batteries in the car factory. So Tesla's factory are something very special and Tesla's production capacity is unlike anyone else. Ford, for example, that have just started deliveries from their brand new EV factory, the Rouge, that will have a production capacity of 150,000 units. BYD's new factories in Fuzhou, China, will have a production capacity of 200,000 units. And Tesla's Texas factory will produce 1 million plus. And you know, I think the factory is much closer to 3 million than 1 million, so that is one big plus there. But just 1 million will still be 6.5 times bigger than Ford's brand new EV factory. The efficiency of Tesla's factories are probably not very appreciated, but someone like Sandy Monroe, an expert in manufacturing who has helped most car companies to become better manufacturers and have worked for Ford and GM, was just blown away by Tesla's fully integration here in the Texas factory. And one of the things that also makes the Tesla factory so unique is that the factories are being built to maximize efficiency no matter the cost. I think what people tend to forget is Elon did not invest in Tesla to make a lot of money. Even though it has made him the richest man on the planet, he thought himself that the company only had a 10% chance of survival. If that is the case, you don't do that because you hope to get a massive return on investment. But as Elon has said, if something is important enough, you should try anyway, even though a possible outcome is failing. Year. But Tesla did survive, and the only reason that Tesla is focusing on money and profits now is so they can make sure to stay in life, and it's good for their investors. But Tesla is not driven by money and profits, they're driven by their mission. They want to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. So Tesla is not cutting any corners when it comes to making its factories. They are not trying to make it as cheap as possible. They are trying to make it as efficient as possible. The cost of the factory plays no role. Only how fast can we make this factory produce cars to get faster to sustainable transport. This is why speed is so important. And this is where legacy automakers are in trouble because this is direct opposite of how they do business. As Sandy just talked about in the interview he did with Facade at TeslaCon after the Giga Texas opening, where Sandy talked with a construction worker at the factory who actually made a bid on the contract to build the Texas factory. But as he said, they did not lose the contract because they could not make it cheap enough. They lost because they couldn't guarantee a 50% of their workforce would be able to build this factory at all time. There was never any talk about making it cheaper. Only only how fast can we make it and can we make it better? Tesla is all about speed and making this transition happen fast. As Sandy said, that is very different from how old legacy automakers build factories. That is usually the one that can build it the cheapest that gets the contract. Then you will never get the most efficient factory. But as Elon has said many times, the factory is the product, so you don't want to make that cheap. You want that to be as good as possible. As Sandy Monroe always says, don't save me any money, I can't afford it. The Giga castings that save Tesla so much time and make them so much faster to build cars than any other manufacturer and eventually will save Tesla a lot of money, but it has not been cheap to develop and invent a whole new alloy to make these big casting possible in the first place like Sandy also said in the interview. At the end of the day, time is everything, speed is everything, and money's just a way to buy time. 
and Tesla uses these AGVs, automated guided vehicles instead of traditional conveyor belt, on the final assembly line, which give them a tremendous advantage over the old guys' old factories. We do see more and more of the old guys putting AGVs in their new factories, of course, because if a conveyor belt dies, the factory stops. If a AGV dies, you just pull that one from the production and replace it with a new one, but it's also make them very flexible. They can easily take a car out of production, check it, or if they want to make some changes to it and test it all out and put it right back into the production afterwards. And these AGVs can be used to make the Model 3 or the Model Y or the Model S or the Cybertruck for that matter. It doesn't matter because they can make them a little bit smaller, a little bit wider, whatever they need. If they need to move the production line a little bit down the road because of new ideas that is pretty easy too they can just tell the robots to drive in a little different path with some trackers on the ground and as sandy said there are still a lot of space in the factory where the model y production line is so they can easily expand the numbers of production line when they need to but let's get back to one of the things that tesla does that no one else does and that is making batteries in the factory because this was something that Sandy Monroe was very curious about, how efficient they were able to produce these batteries and get them into the battery packs. And boy, was he impressed. I wanted to know how, um, how efficient or effective they could be in the manufacturing of the cells into the battery pack and into the car. And to me, this was just... Uh, Oh, I'm not allowed to swear. It was really, really nice. Do it. Yeah, no. No, I'm not. Corey will have my... Anyways, uh, the, the thing that you couldn't see was to get to the fourth floor. The fourth floor is where they make the cells, and they make them, in essence, from, uh, from what I can gather, they make them from the, the weave, the, um, they, they roll them, they add the electrolyte, they pop it into the cell casings, pop the top on and whatnot, and after they're all done, they sort them, and then they drop them through the floor into the third floor where they're packed into the, uh, into the, uh, the battery packs. Then the battery packs get their lid, and then they go into a high bay warehouse. And the high bay warehouse is there so that you can cure the batteries, but also put them into skew so that when it's time to build the uh, car, the high bay warehouse uh, robots will go and pick up the battery pack that they need, bring it out, drop it down through the floor, and where does it go? Straight down to where it needs to be on the assembly line on the second floor. I mean, uh, uh, it just it, it just doesn't get any better. And then they put the and then they put the seats on top of the battery pack to shove them in a car. And, and man alive, you cannot believe how many times I've heard people say, "Well, Sandy." You're a nice guy, but you're really full of shit. Or, okay, I'm, I'm telling you, going through there was the maybe uh, almost org orgasmic, I guess it'd be. Yeah, almost. So that again is just one thing that gave Sandy a little. <clears throat> happy feeling let's just leave it at that but again this is something no other automakers is doing right now making it impossible for anyone to catch up to tesla's production speed but as jordan from the limiting factor another brilliant mind also pointed out tesla was able to make the throughput of the geek casting twice as fast as idra made them to do uh, for instance, the Gigapress machines, Idra designed those machines to pump out like a thousand castings a day. And Elon said a few months ago that they're going to be able to do like double that. Well, how do you double the production speed beyond what the original manufacturer indicated? Well, they're pushing those machines and uh, the limiting factor for the speed that you can crank through those castings is the rate that you can cool them as they're coming out. So. Uh, what they're doing, what I could see in the factory, it looked like to me, is they're implementing a new cooling system that will be able to cool those right. twice as fast and increase the throughput. So as he said, that's, you know, Tesla's goal is to 
produ uh, have a factory that's two, three, four times faster than anybody else's. Because Tesla is constantly improving everything. They are not done with the Texas factory. As Tesla said at the earnings call, if you're waiting for the perfect factory, you will wait forever because Tesla will never be done improving the factories. And if you're waiting for the perfect battery, you will be waiting forever because Tesla constantly improves the chemistry of these batteries all the time. And this is the culture that Tesla has created and is probably Tesla's biggest advantage. They can move faster than anyone else in the world because they are not limited by rules and culture and leaders that get in the way, but every old legacy automakers are drowning in their old ways of doing things and their culture. And sure, they can make electric cars, but it is almost impossible to change their culture. Just as Sandy Monroe once said, the harder thing to change in a company is its culture. And this is why someone like Toyota now is getting help from someone like Joe Justice to learn how to truly be agile. And they are making a whole new company under Toyota where the next CEO of Toyota is working and learning how to run an agile company. And when he becomes the CEO of Toyota, he will slowly prep people that are working for Toyota how an agile company works. And maybe in 10 years time from now, they will implement the workflow into Toyota. So it will take them more than 10 years to change their culture and have to make a whole new company just to learn how this works. And I think this is the best showcase of how difficult it is to change a culture in a company. And this is a big reason why no one will be able to keep up with Tesla. Toyota will not even understand Tesla's culture before Tesla hits 20 million EVs in 2030. Like Sandy said in the interview, Tesla could give GM the Texas factory, but they will still not be able to do what Tesla does with the Texas factory because of all the culture and bureaucracy that is holding GM back. This is why Tesla and their factories are so important. Tesla cannot do it all on their own and we don't want them to. We need the competition, but we need Tesla's factory because Tesla is right now the only one with the speed, agility and speed of growth to really make a big difference in how fast we transition to sustainable transport and energy. Tesla is probably the company on the planet that will have the biggest positive impact on the climate crisis. So everyone fighting against Tesla with short positions are really fighting against the climate change. Like Bill Gates that has a $500 million short position on Tesla, while he claims to be a big ambassador for the climate change. Yeah, then don't short the company that does most to fight the climate crisis and are pushing entire industries to follow suit. Yes, we desperately need Tesla's factories to make this transition happen faster so we don't mess up this planet more than we already have and the air we breathe. Because even when we get to 100% of new car sales being EVs, we still have many years to go before the whole world's fleet of 2 billion ICE cars on the road are replaced. That is why it's so important we do this as fast as possible. It really matters. And that is why Tesla aims to make their factories three to five times faster than anyone else. Not to make a lot of money, but to make the transition happen faster. And that is what Tesla's Giga factories are all about. As Elon said, if you want the future to be good, you must make it so. Take action to make it good and it will be. And that is what Tesla is doing take an action to make the future good. And Tesla's amazing factories are the product that will enable them to do so. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>